there's a minig to say, Chodesh El, the Dovod Hashem Oyri. When is that minig? When, when, after which tefillah should you say it? Which days should we say it? Where does that minig come from? That's what I want to speak about. The Mishnah Bura, in Simon Tav Kuf Pei Aleph, in Helchus Rosh Hashanah, he brings down the minig in Sif Katan Beis. It's not brought down in Shulchan Aruch. It's not brought down by the Ramah. It's brought down by the Mishnah Bura. The Lashon of Mishnah Bura is like this. V'noyagim bim din aseinu, Sif Katan Beis, V'noyagim din aseinu, M'rish Chodesh El Ad Yoyim HaKippurim, Lo yima b'cho yoyim acha gemara tefillah, so that's, he says only from El O, until Yom Kippurim, to say every day Acha Gemara Tefillah Mizmul Davar Hashem Oyvi, Boiker Vo'erev, morning and evening. But here he says morning and then evening, morning and evening. Vo'emer Machav Kadosh, and then the Mishabur adds Vo'onu Neigim Loima Ad Shmini Ateres Va'ad Bechlal. So our minig, in other words, the, the the whole Medina was to do it from Rosh Chodesh Elul until Yom Kippurim. Mishabur says his own minig is for, uh, all the way till Shmini Ateres. Including Shmini Atzeres. That's the Mishnah Bura. So, what's the reason for this minig? So, um, the Mate Ephraim from Ephraim Zalman Magalia says that the reason is, he says in his Sefer Elif Mate, he says the reason is because it's Api the Medish, the Medish Tilim, which is called the Medish Sheikh Um One of the reasons. The, the Medrash lists a whole bunch of things in the Pasuk when, when, when it says Oiri vi Yishi, and one of the reasons is Oiri zu Rosh Hashanah and Yishi zu Yom Kippurim. That's it. Just says Rosh Hashanah and Yom Kippurim. So from there, says the Matei Ephraim, from there came the minute that we should start saying it all the way from the beginning of El through Yom Kippurim. And the minute that the minute that that um, to to include sukkis also is because at the end of the, at the end the next pasuk it, it says ki uh, later on in this capital it says ki it's beneni besukai biyimra so that includes that the medrash doesn't explain it's talking about sukkis but since it also says ki it's beneni besukai so we continue the whole sukkis so you get rosh hashanah and kippurim and sukkis which includes. To somehow includes Shmini Atzeres, but not yeah, but not to, uh, not some close to I would imagine. That's that's the Mishnah and that's the the Mate Ephraim. It's a little bit schwer because we don't just say every capital, we don't just say every capital that that mentions a Yom, a yom Tov. This sim, the Davar Hashem Oiri. Only one of the reasons is it's, uh, only one of the things that are, that are explained in that medrash is, is the Rosh Hashanah Kippur. It's also not talking about Chodesh El. And also why in the morning and the evening, twice a day? That's, that's the Matthew Ephraim's reason. There are many that don't have this minute. There's the Goyen. The Goyen in Maiser Rav, it says that he didn't say it. Mirish Chodesh El Adyayim Kippurim, he didn't say it. Yeah, the lotion of the Maiserav is Mirish Chodesh El Adyam Kippurim Ein Eimim Simen Chavzayin or Kapitel Chavzayin, which is this, which is this, this um, which is which is the Davar Hashem Oyri. And the Nitei Gavriel brings down a whole bunch of Chassidish and Chassidish Kehilas that don't say the Davar Hashem Oyri. Tzans, Zedechov, Rapshitz, Apt, a whole bunch of Chassidish and Hagim that did not say it. So what's the why didn't they say it? And um, and where does this minute come from? Okay. So it's been assumed for many many years that the that the makar of this of the of the of the minute to say the davar Hashem comes from a sefer Chem Das Hayamim. Sefer Chem Das Hayamim was printed in seventeen thirty seven, and this sefer it's a three or four chalakim. A very, very, very popular sefer, a sefer that's many minhagim al pikabala, and um, this was the known makar for the for the for the, for the, the minig to say the davar Hashem Oyri on on El and uh, through Yom Kippur or through 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 Shmini 
The problem is that the Sefer Chemdes Hayomim was printed without a name. So it's not known who the author is. But it was printed with a picture of Nosen Hazati. Nosen Hazati was the Navi, was the prophet, was the was the partner in crime with Shabsai Tzvi. And Shabsai Tzvi was the, the Mashiach HaSheker. And there's also um, some poems that were printed in the Chemdes Hayomim that are signed by Nosen Azati. In other words, it seems to be that he authored that. So people felt that maybe Chemdes Hayomim was a sefer that was either written by Nosen Azati himself or by somebody who was very sympathetic to that, to, to, to the to the Shapsoi cause, to the Shapsoi Tzvi cause. And since that movement was so discredited, so there are those that did not want to have, take part in anything that had come from that movement, including something like the Davon HaShem that seemed to have been instituted by a Shapsoi, by a member of the Shapsoi Tzvi group. So that's why many people do not say the Davon HaShem However, nowadays we have access to much more Svarim. We have access to Svarim that weren't as popular like the Chem de Sayyam. Chem de Sayyam was, 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 was readily available at that time. Nowadays we have access to Svarim that weren't as ac- accessible as, as the Chem de Sayyam. And we have Svarim that, that precede the Chem de Sayyam by a nice 30, 40, like nice 30 years. And those Svarim Bring down the minig of the of the of of the Dara Shamari. The first known sefer is a sefer called Shem to, Shem Toiv Cotton, which was written, which was printed um, in 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 seventeen o six, which is thirty one years before Chem Sayyam, the first print of Chem Sayyam. The sefer Shem Toiv Cotton was the the mechaber was 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 um, is is. There's no question about his of, or, or about his authenticity. His his askamis were from David Oppenheimer, from from Brody. We're talking. He's the mechaber of Sefer Amtakas Binyamin. We're talking about this is some. There, there, there's no question about Sefer Shem Tov Cotton that it's definitely a credible Sefer and something. And this Sefer is some. Is, what he says has to be taken. Has, it, there's no reason not to take what he says. So safe safe for Shem Tov Cotton. Nowadays it's all available on Hebrew books. So I printed out his his um, on page Yud in one of the prints. Halacha same uh, halacha and the, the first thing he has in his Hanhagas Vedina Matfilas Kedushas and Eroyim Merish Chodesh El Vyam Neroyim Vyam Tovim Derech Protes Uklal. Halacha Soy Gadol. Here I'm telling you a big secret. And this indication that he's he's like the one that's starting this off because halacha say gadol. This is a big secret. It's not. It wasn't obviously. It obviously hadn't been a minig like 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 the mishabura is talking about. Mishabura is talking about a minig bim dina senu was. It's already a minig that had had been well established. Halacha say gadol. I'm telling you a secret here. Kol aima mizma zeh. Merish chaydish el ad achar simchas taira until after. Simchas Torah. V'afilu gzeira rok suva ala odom menasha mayim yecholo levatla o mevatol me'alov kol gzeira isroyis v'koshes v'yoytze midima zakai b'din. If somebody says this this is mizmor, he's going to explain. He's going to talk about this mizmor. He's talking about the davar Hashem Oiri after from from Rosh Chodesh El until Simchas Torah. Until after Simchas Torah, so it's got to include from Rosh Chodesh El all the way till after Simchas Torah. Yeah, the Mishnah had said Shmini Atzeres, unless the Mishnah was to- referring to the Sveik Diyam, but it seemed like the Mishnah st- meant to stop after Shmini Atzeres before Simchas Torah, like we do. But here Sefer Shem Tov Cotton says Ad Acha Simchas Torah. Then even if he has terrible, terrible Gzeros. Terrible decrees were written on this person from Shemayim. He could everything could be will be wiped away. And then he continues. 
שיום הזה המזמר ערב ובויקר. He starts with the evening and then he goes to the morning. ערב ובויקר, דבר יום ביום בי, מראש חודש אלו עד אחרי סמכוס התורה. אזי הוא מובטח שיוצא שנויסו ויומו בטויב וירב לו ויכניע על ידי זה כל מיני מקטרקים. He has, he says he's got to be careful to say it every single day, don't miss a day. And say it every single day, in the evening and in the morning. And then he'll be, he'll, he'll be able to, he'll have a sweet din and everything will be fine. After that he continues, he explains what it is. Um, basically, basically he explains that there's, there's 13 times, um, connected to Yud Gimel Midash Rachamim, there's 13 times that the Shem Havaya is mentioned, Hashem's name is mentioned in the Dabar Hashem Oiri. Plus, it has the, let, the letters of, of, of in the Dabar Hashem Oiri is 148, which is 148, this is all Kabbalah, I'm not familiar, but, but um, 148 is two times 74, and 74 has something to do with a din. So if you repeat, if you say this mizmar, it's 148. It's, it's, it, it's twice 74, which is Yezer Chabedin. No, if you say this mizmar, so it keeps away the din from Shamayim, and only Hashem could be Shafit, and once only Hashem could be Shafit, a person will be Zakabedin. That's basically what the Sefer Shem Tev Cotton says. And a few years later, after the Sefer Shem Cotton, there's another Sefer also printed before the Chem de Sayamim, which repeats, without the reason, but repeats the same thing. There's a Sefer called Sefer Zahira. And Sefer Zahira also says the same same thing. Soyid Gadol, again, it's been a secret. At, at this point, these Svarim, when they were written, it was written, it, it, when this Sefer was printed in 1709, um, it was still not a minute that was nafutz. People had, didn't know it. Soyd gadol ha'oyim emizbar chavzayin l'davar hashamayri mirish chaydish el ad acher simchas toira erev vavoyker azai hu muftach shiyotzi yom of rishnois of the toiv omeisa kolam mekatrigim omeisa kolam mekatrigim. So here we see first of all what the reason is. The reason has nothing to do with um, the, the Medrash Sheikh Hatayv, has nothing to do with the fact that the Medrash Yoyri Vyishi, like one shot, is Rosh Hashanah Yom Kippur. The reason is because Api Kabbalah somehow, because of the Yud Gimel times that it says Hashem's name, and the number of letterings, that somehow saves a person from the from the din of the Mekatrigim and Shamayim, and Hashem is Hashem will be will 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 be shayfed a person, and once Hashem is shayfed a person, then then he's he's already um then then um then he has a much more then he'll be able to be zeicha the 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 he's, the the lashon of the of the shem type cotton is vayidei amirase be mizmar anal onu mevatlin u mamtikin habezin shomayla and then raka kodesh baruch hu ba atzmayu bechvoide hu donay sanu and then we're good. And then we'll be okay. That's the, that's this thing. But what comes out is that we should also, if this is the source of the of the minig, we have to know when to say it. So first of all, it's not from Rosh Chodesh El until Yom Kippur. And it's not from Rosh Chodesh El till after Shmini Atzeres. They both say clearly it's from Rosh Chodesh El through Sabchas Torah, including Sabchas Torah. Ad Acha Sabchas Torah. And it also explains why it has to be in Chodesh El, because it's not, it has nothing to do with Rosh, Rosh Chodesh and Rosh Hashanah and Yom Kippur. It's the whole Chodesh El, that's when the din is, and that's when, that's when it has to be done. Which they explain has to do with the din, is the din is in Rosh Chodesh El. But also, which time during the day? We know Nusach Ashkenaz says it by Ma'irv and Shachras. And Nusach Svard says it Shachras and Mencha. So both agree Shachras. That's the boyker. Fine. Erev could be Either in late evening, 
like the Mishnah, like 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 Nusach Svarit says, or or at night, like Nusach Ashkenaz says. From the Mishabura itself, when the Mishabura says Boike the Erev, Boike is the morning, Erev is the evening. Uh, it could include Mincha, or it could or it could include at night. However, from the Lashon of the Shem Tov Cotton and the Sefer Zahira, we're there, the source of it. They say Erev Vavoike. One has to say it every single day, Erev Vavoiker. Erev Vavoiker can't mean Mincha. Erev Vavoiker is the evening that starts off before the day. In other words, we're talking about one day. You have to say it, Erev Vavoiker, every single night and the following day. So it would seem you shouldn't say it on Mincha. By Mincha, you should say it by Mairiv. Like Nusach Ashkenaz says it. But it could be, it could be that Nusach Svarid could also be justified. Why? Because what's, what seems to be the reason for the, for the, for the, for what seems to be the reason for the Dovar Hashem Mairi? Somehow the Dovar Hashem Mairi is, is, a, is a shield that keeps away the Bezen Shalmailo and only HaKadosh Baruch Hu is Danos, but it, it somehow holds us back. So why do you have to say it twice? Again, in Lo Nuesik Benistaris, but it seems that that in the evening, when the new day starts, you have to say Ludov Rasha to get, to have this Shemira, to have this, 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 this to, to be able to stop the, 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 the Bezen Shalmailo. And then the next morning, you can't be Saimach on yesterday's, you have to have a new shield. So, Nusach Ashkenaz that says it at night and the morning, that's understood. You say it at night, you need a new Shmira. Yesterday's Shmira is not good. You get a new Shmira at night. And in the morning you, have, you need a Shmira for this day. What's the Pshad of Nusach Svarid? It would seem that Nusach Svarid, since they were davening Mincha late, they were davening Mincha in the late, late afternoon, so after Mincha would be right before the night. So they would say, you know, so they would say, to get that new Shmira for the following night. And they also had a Shmira for the, for the night, the new night that's coming up, which is a new day. And then they had a Ladavra Shamoiri in the morning. So they said it by Mincha, after Mincha, and they said it in the morning. But if, if one is davening Nusach Svart in the early afternoon, not a late, late, not late, right, right, right before Shkia, right before Tzayis, right in the late afternoon, somebody's davening Nusach Svart, the Dovid Hashem, already smack in the middle of the day. It would seem that he doesn't. He, there's no reason to say Ludov Rasha because he already said it in the morning. And that night, he's not going to have Ludov Rasha So it would seem two things. That somebody who's, who's davening Nusach Svard and saying Ludov Rasha he should not say it. In, if he's davening Mincha in the afternoon early, he should not say Ludov Rasha after Mincha. He should say it after Maiv or before Maiv. Because the Dovar Hashem is supposed to be every single day a revavoyker. If he's going to say it in the middle of the afternoon, it comes in the evening, the Erev, he doesn't have the Shmir of the Dovar Hashem That that he said it in the afternoon is worthless. He already has the Shmir of the Dovar Hashem from the morning. But to say it in the afternoon, in the middle of the day, what's that? And it also comes out, Another something something another thing that that seems very relevant. Somebody who davens and this is very happens all the time. Somebody who davens in yeshiva in the afternoon by mincha, he davens he davens mincha in a nusach ashkenaz minyan, so he doesn't say the davar Hashem in the afternoon, and then he runs out to the shtibul and he davens nusach and he davens on nusach svard in the evening. So if he does like what the minig was in the shul he was davening, 
he didn't get the Lashmir of Odav Rashamari in the afternoon because he was because he was davening in the Nusach Ashkenaz. And they didn't say the Odav Rashamari. And then he came, then he went at night to a Nusach Svarad and he didn't get the Odav Rashamari either. So somebody who's the, one has to be careful to realize that 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 the this minig of Adar Hashemayri the reason is that one should say it in the erev vavoiker one has to realize what the tachlis is and to make sure that he gets it in every evening and every morning so uh, and uh, the most the, the times that one has to be the most careful is if he's davening sometimes in Ashkenaz and sometimes in Svard and also if he's davening in Nusach Svard and it's normally said by Mincha he should make sure that it, it should, he should only say it after a Mincha that's, that's davening late but not if he davens a Mincha earlier in the afternoon because then he didn't get the Nusach he didn't get the Lodov in the evening